eBay can be a great place to sell, but I get it if you're a little hesitant in jumping into selling on eBay. There are a lot of rumors and problems and concerns that people have about selling on eBay, especially new sellers. And I'm going to address three of those in this video to hopefully ease your mind. I've been selling on eBay for almost 10 years and it has definitely changed my life. That is something that I really want for other people as well. Whether you're a casual seller just trying to make some extra income or if you're wanting to make this something that brings you serious profit that you can start supporting your family with. So one of the concerns that I hear from people about getting started selling on eBay, especially as a new seller, is that there's just so much competition and you're worried about your item getting lost in the sea of all the other items. And I want to encourage you just to go ahead and start, continue listing items find items that you think people would want to buy and list those types of things. And as soon as you've gotten your listings up to the maximum, call eBay and find out if they can raise your seller limit so that you can list more items. Now, as far as there being so much competition, as long as you're following really good practices with your listings, creating listings with good titles, making sure your pictures look as professional as possible, and making sure that when you do ship out your item, you send it out as professionally and make it look as nice as you can. Don't send it in a food container and wrap it up in like old garbage or newspaper. You'd be surprised, like old bags from bread and whatnot. I've seen all kinds of crazy things. Send it out in something nice. You definitely want to make sure that you tick all those boxes, especially as a beginner, because you want to start building that good feedback, which makes buyers more comfortable buying from a new seller. The next thing that I hear is that the fees are so high that eBay takes such a huge chunk of your profits that it's hard to make an income. And now eBay does take a piece of the profit. In general, eBay's basic fees are 13.25% plus 30 cents per order. These things can change and it also changes depending on what store level you've got, if you're a best rated seller, and also depending on what category your item is listed in. So let's say you've got an item that's sold for $25 and it's something that you paid a dollar for at a garage sale. After the fees that are taken out, the profit you bring home is $20.39. So I think when you look at it that way, it doesn't look like such a big amount of money taken out. So it's only about for less than $4 that they end up taking off the profit. Another thing I know a lot of people worry about are scammers. Now this goes both ways. So whether you're worried about a buyer scamming you or a seller scamming you, a lot of people are hesitant to buy from new sellers because they're worried that they're gonna get scammed. So I'm gonna just address the buyer type scams because I'm coming to you from, from the seller point of view. One of the things you'll definitely wanna do is to check the buyer's feedback. I know a lot of people that completely just block new accounts from purchasing from them. I don't do this because I haven't had a whole lot of trouble with new people coming in, buying and scamming me. Uh, and a lot of people are new to eBay and are just setting up their accounts. And so they don't have a lot of feedback or they're new buyers on eBay. So I don't do that personally, but I 100% get it if you're a new seller and you're wanting to protect yourself, especially up front, because it does seem to happen more frequently to new sellers on the platform than to more experienced sellers. Another thing I want to caution you about is that some of these scams will try to get you to talk to them off the platform. They'll say, you know, can I email you or here's my phone number or things like that. And that is against eBay's terms of service. So absolutely do not reach out to anybody off the platform. And if they've already purchased from you and they're trying to get you to send it to a different address or they haven't paid their invoice yet and they're trying to talk to you through messages about contacting them for a payment in different ways, I would absolutely reach out to eBay immediately because if you cancel the sale, that can affect your score negatively and you don't want it to come across that you're canceling a sale just because you don't want to deal with this buyer. So contact eBay and find out how to proceed. And sometimes it's a little hard to find that eBay phone number. So I made a video on how I have found it in a couple of different ways. Another scam that I've heard happens to new sellers is the empty box scam. You'll send the item out, the person will get it, and then they'll claim that you didn't put the item in the box, they'll open a return, and they'll send you back an empty box. So what you should do in this situation is 
especially for first starting. I know I did this, it's a bit excessive, but I did take pictures of myself boxing things up to prove that I had sent them out. And I know at first it seems, like I said, a bit excessive, but if you're really worried about that, then that's something that you can do to kind of cover yourself is take those pictures along the way of you boxing it up. So that if something like that does come up, then you have something to show eBay and say, no, look, I have photographs of me doing this. And if something in your gut tells you something's off with a buyer, then contact eBay and say, I don't know how to proceed. I've got this situation with a buyer. They paid, they bought something, they paid for something. I'm just worried that this is what's going to go down. But if you do everything you're supposed to do, communicate professionally, box things up professionally, you know, leave good feedback for people and start, start getting your eBay feedback up into the positive range, then there's going to be less chances of you being a target of scammers. I don't usually hear too much about more seasoned resellers on the platform getting scammed. Now, if you're selling things like cell phones or really high end jewelry or things like that, then the, the odds of it kind of goes up a little bit. So you want to make sure you do things to cover yourself. If you're selling say, sneakers that you got and you're flipping them, then definitely have the original receipt showing that they're not fakes and you purchase them from the right place and all of these kinds of things. So you want to have things that are going to back you up to prove, for example, I sell a lot of jewelry. So when I sell jewelry that is gold, silver, or has precious stones in it, I test the item and I make sure that I either take a picture of the test or I have a video clip of me testing the item showing, you know, this is gold. Here's a, a test of me testing the stone, showing the machine and what, so when they get it, they can't say, well, this isn't what she said it was because I have all this proof to back up what I'm saying is accurate for my listing. If you're watching this video and you're really concerned about something else, then leave a comment down below because not only will I, but other friends of the channel can come in and kind of give you advice as far as what you can do in certain situations if you're worried about becoming a seller on eBay. I encourage everyone to do it because it's something that's worked really well for me and my family. And I think that if you're really trying to make an extra income or a side hustle, that it's a great way to sell things either that you already have or that you can get for really inexpensive and make a nice profit. If you like videos like these, then I'm going to link a playlist up here that I really think you'll enjoy and YouTube thinks that you'll like this video. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos all about helping people sell on eBay, Etsy, Facebook marketplace, and other platforms. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.